Hey YouTubers, today we're going to be looking at painting some spindles and so I'll show you some things to look out for to be aware of if you're doing a project similar to this. So let's get right into it. So this is the staircase that we're working on. This is the handrail and the spindles we'll be painting. And you can see we've put one coat of primer paint on the spindles here. We've sanded them first with 150 grit sandpaper. Now we've, we're doing the top and the handrail with black paint so we'll just be focusing on the spindles today. And I'll show you what to pour before we get into our final coat. Take a closer look at this handrail. We can see that there's pieces that haven't been filled with caulk yet or filler. There's a hole there. And as we come along it's not too bad we did a bit of pre-prep but after one coat of primer or in this case primer paint we can see more details that are missing see at the bottom of that newel post and then along here at the base of the foot plate we're going to have to fill that with caulking there's a hole at the bottom of that spindle so we're going to give it another look over real close I think there's a hole in the foot plate too and we're going to do a final filling and then we'll do our finished coats. So now you can see that we've caulked all our gaps. There's no black holes or black lines. That means everything's caulked. And so we're ready to put our final coats on. We're going to paint the underneath of this handrail in white. So we make sure wherever the spindles join to the handrail, it's all filled in nicely. So we're ready to go. I'm going to get some paint on our brush and we start in the middle of the spindle and just spread that paint out. And as we're painting the bottom of this handrail white, just poke that in. You don't have to worry about getting paint on the newel post because it'll be repainted eventually. A little bit more paint and see the bottom half. And then we just work our way around. Again, we start in the middle, work up. work our way down and then this is the trick with doing spindles and so we want to just brush off the outside corner there and then this corner and then when we come around start again in the middle work our way up And then we finish off by painting this corner. And then we do our final side. And then when we're done painting all four corners, we can go back, start at the top, paint out that corner and the bottom up into the middle. We can go around again, and what we're doing is we call this checking for hangovers, or checking for rollovers, whatever you want to call them. Others call them hard edges, or runs, or sags, whatever you want to call them. We have to make sure that we paint them out, because that will just ruin the look of the finished product. So you just work your way along, a little bit more paint. And then paint in between the foot plate as we go. That side. So basically every time you paint two sides of the spindle, you just 
brush that out on the corner. Make sure no paint settles on it or runs down it. Leaves an unsightly drip mark or overhang mark. And you just work your way along until the whole job's done. So there we have the finished product. We've given this two coats and you can see that everywhere that it joins or everywhere there was a, a gap we filled it in nicely. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, video on how to paint spindles. It helps you in your future projects. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them on the channel and I'll respond. And uh, feel free to like the videos and subscribe as well. Until next time, it's been Craig from Skoka Painter, helping you take the paint out of painting.